Imagine you are an adventurous person. You travel to explore the most exotic places in the world. Maybe you just want to hike in the jungle or maybe you are camping with your friends. However, nature is as dangerous as it is beautiful. You have to protect yourself from dangerous animals and plants. You should watch out for snakes with venom or not eat poisonous mushrooms. There are many creatures in nature that contain toxins. But how can you tell which animals you encounter are venomous and which are poisonous? With this video, you will learn the difference between venom and poison and become more sensitive to these toxins. The main difference between venomous and poisonous. The terms venom and poison refer to different situations. However, they are both dangerous and deadly toxins. Venom refers to the chemical substances injected by an animal during an attack through bites, needles, saliva, etc. Poison, on the other hand, is a chemical substance that is usually secreted by various living things in order to defend themselves. In general, venom is found in various animals, while poison can be found in plants, algae, fungi, and bacteria as well as animals. In short, both can be dangerous and lethal. But they are not interchangeable. The difference is more about how they are transmitted. Simply put, if you die when a creature bites or stings you, it is venomous, but if you die when you eat or touch a creature, it is poisonous. The first one is more active, because an animal injects you directly. The second one is more passive, because it only gets into you when you eat, breathe, or touch it. How toxins work in animals? Both venom and poison are the results of millions of years of evolutionary arms race between predator and prey. About 15% of all animal species in the world are venomous. Both venom and poison toxins emerged in the evolution of living things through a process called gene duplication. Although they are usually associated with the saliva of animals, it has been confirmed that they can also be found in other parts of the animal's body. For example, the arrow frog carries its toxins in its skin, while lorises accumulate them in their forearms. Each creature's strategy for producing toxins depends on the environmental conditions in which it lives, its biological makeup, and the struggle between enemies and prey. It is all for survival. Venomous animals are usually active ones that have developed a specific hunting strategy. The best examples are venomous snakes. Venoms usually contain toxins that can be effective when they enter the bloodstream. Venomous animals need to make an open wound before they can release their toxins into the body and get into the bloodstream. That's why they mostly use methods such as biting and stinging. Effects of venom and poisons. Venom and poison are not always fatal. Sometimes it can only cause tissue loss, faintness, weakness, itching, paralysis, and pain. Toxicologists also believe that venom or poison will not usually cause serious harm unless it enters the bloodstream. Toxins work in different ways. For example, neurotoxins attack the nervous system. This often has a powerful effect that is sudden and paralyzing, such as the venom of the black mamba snake. It can kill a person in 20 minutes. On the other hand, those with hematoxin properties attack the animal's blood. They usually affect blood circulation and blood clotting, causing organ failure. Examples of venomous and poisonous in nature. Let us give examples of some venomous and poisonous creatures found in nature. Let's look at venomous animals first. For example, the inland taipan snake has one of the deadliest venoms. A few drops of venom can kill up to 100 adult humans. Another is the black mamba. What makes the snake particularly dangerous is that it can release so much venom at once. When they bite their prey, they release their toxins through their fangs, which work like a syringe. The venom of these animals takes effect very quickly, because they don't want to miss their prey. The Gila monster is a venomous lizard that is very similar to the way snakes hunt and scares people. This lizard has rows of glands in its lower jaw that produce toxins. It bites its prey powerfully and releases its toxins through the grooves in its teeth. Sometimes it chews its prey to get it to go deeper. Venomous jellyfish are another example. Especially the box jellyfish, which are among the most toxic, are very dangerous. A venomous box jellyfish has a harpoon-like structure full of venom that shoots out of the cells along the tentacles when touched. Most venomous animals do not produce their toxins themselves. Instead, they collect them from sources in their environment. Poisonous animals, on the other hand, use the toxins they produce for self-defense in times of danger rather than distributing them randomly. They release their toxins when you disturb them. For example, slow lorises, a nocturnal primate from Southeast Asia, store poison in their forearms and use it when threatened. On the other hand, both puffer fish and blowfish have poisons far more potent than cyanide. The cane toad releases toxins from glands on both shoulders when touched, swallowed, or licked. 
With 175 species discovered in Central and South America, dart frogs may be the most poisonous animals in the world. They paralyze you on touch and once their toxins enter your bloodstream, you can die within a minute. These animals use batrachotoxin, which disrupts electrical signals in the body, effectively shutting down the heart and nervous system. Just one of them can kill 30,000 mice or 150 people with the toxin it carries on its skin. These animals also collect their toxins from substances in their environment. For example, poison dart frogs get their toxins from a certain species of flies and ants. Poisonous creatures are not limited to animals, however. From plants, we can take the poisonous ivy as an example. If you touch it, you may experience itchy and sometimes painful rashes that spread throughout your body. As for mushrooms, everyone knows the most iconic mushroom, the fly agaric, although its effect is less than other mushrooms. Looking like something out of the village of Smurfs, these cute fly agaric mushrooms can cause a variety of bad consequences when eaten, ranging from hallucinations to coma. Venomous and poisonous together. Some animals can have toxins with both characteristics. So an animal can be both venomous and poisonous. Blue-ringed octopuses, for example, are toxinous for both offense and defense. These octopuses are venomous when bitten and poisonous when swallowed. Venom and poison in different languages. In nature, there are many, many different species that are venomous and poisonous. It may be impossible to know them all, but now we know the difference between venomous and poisonous. So we cannot forget how they work, what they are found in, and their dangers. It is important to distinguish between venomous and poisonous toxins. But this is not true in every language. So venom and poison do not have an equivalent in many languages like English. In such languages, there is usually only one word for both venom and poison, meaning dangerous, harmful, or deadly. In Spanish, for example, both are translated as veneno, and in German both are translated as gift. This has arisen arbitrarily. But this distinction is also scientifically necessary. Because one of the best ways to find solutions and increase understanding of living things is to make such classifications and distinctions. Avoiding the danger of poison with venom. So let's go back to the forest. First of all, avoid and do not touch any animal, plant, or fungus that you are not sure what it is. Most animals will not attack you anyway unless you disturb them. If it attacks you and injects its venom, do not panic. Stay away from it first. If it doesn't fight or struggle with you, don't attack it, don't try to beat it or kill it. This will only make him angrier and make him more likely to bite or sting you again. Try to stay away from it. Then seek medical help immediately. If possible, try to photograph it without endangering yourself. Its species is important for the anti-venom. The more sensitized you are about venomous and poisonous, the better you can protect yourself from potential venomous and poisonous hazards in your area. Unless you are a scientist who knows what you are doing, being aware of these creatures and staying away from them is the safest option. We wish you peaceful days at peace with nature. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.